Now, Mount Charleston, the fire there is 50% contained at this point. And as of 4 o'clock this afternoon, all the roads to the area have reopened. People are being let back up the mountain. Steep terrain has made it difficult for firefighters to get a fire line around that blaze. No structures have burned, and at this point, none are threatened. The fire was started by an illegal campfire that quickly spread out of control. Fire crews on the ground and helicopters have been dumping water on the area today. Also today, FEMA approved our state's request for help paying for that firefighting effort. Well, meantime, wildlife experts say they're really not surprised by the fires. A researcher at UNLV says years of stopping fires has led to a buildup in fuel and forest around the West. He says there are really only two things that can happen with forest fires in the future. We see really only a couple scenarios. There, there could be a very large fire that takes a lot of the forest out, or there could be just a series of these smaller fires year after year that kind of nickel and dime. Um, the area so that we realize 10 years from now there's very little forest left. Wildfire experts say trying to mimic the way nature keeps the forest will help keep fires at bay and that does include thinning forest underbrush and controlled burns to prevent a buildup of all that dry fuel. Abella also says that non-native grasses from Europe and Asia have created fire dangers in desert areas that really didn't burn in the past.